in Bali. Just arrived a couple of hours ago and uh, I went to the Pyramids of Chi, the beautiful Tibetan sound healing there. And now I'm staying in this magic family compound with a temple right in the middle called Three Brothers Guest House in Ubud. Padma, the owner, has just been awesome so far. I've just met her. But um, yeah, really looking forward to, to bringing this practice to you. So let me know any comments if you can hear me or if I need to speak up or, or whatever you need. Maybe the music's okay, maybe it's too loud. Let me know and uh, we can make adjustments. So if you have, if you have a, a shawl or a scarf, prefer, preferably silk or uh, wool, place that around you. So a silk or a wool scarf or a meditation shawl keeps those beautiful vibrations in close, close to the heart. If you also have an eye pillar, eye pillow for Shavasana, relaxation at the end of practice, please grab that as well. Um, of course your yoga mat, water, and, uh, and an open heart and an open mind. So let's just lie down for a few moments. If you can, bring the toes into zipper toes. So zipper toes, you thread the toes between each other. It opens the feet. And of course, open, open toes, open mind. So just thread the toes in between each other. Just the best that you can. Doesn't matter if they come undone, it's okay. It's all good. And then just lay down over your bolster. Or over your mat, sorry. Bring your arms down beside the body, palms facing up. Spread the fingers to receive the vibrations. Mother Earth. Okay. Just lay there for a few moments. I have a comment, so I'm just going to have to have a look. And Marg, hey Marg. Uh, Marg, I just thought of you. And um, I played Sacred Earth just for you, Marg. Let's come into those zipper toes. Lay down. Can you hear the music, Mark? Deb's here as well. Close down the eyes. And take the awareness to the breath. Exhale, allow the body to soften, melt into the earth. If you're holding any tension at all, just let it go. Jackson, we've got Jackson coming in as well. And Katrina. Thank you, Katrina. I'm on Dharma Cottage Yoga, so the Dharma Cottage Yoga Facebook page. Marg or Katrina, if you could let the group know that we're on Dharma Cottage Facebook. Elle and Linda are trying to trying to log in to, to practice. Hey, Lauren. Namaste, my girlfriend. So Tia, Deb or Marg, if you can just put on the group. Hey darling, hey Tia. <laughs> oh my girls, I miss you so much. <laughs> okay. We're supposed to be relaxing. Hey Deb, how are you? Yeah girls, if you can just put on the group that I'm on the Dharma Cottage Yoga Facebook page. So Elle. So Earl and, 
and Linda can get on the right page. A few more rounds of breath. I don't think you can see me. Yay, Tia! I don't think you can see behind me, but there's this absolutely amazing family temple right behind me. Two more breaths. Hi, Katrina. How are you? So good to have you with us today. Can you hear me? Hi, Elle. Hey, Lisa. Just waiting for Linda. Hopefully she can come online. So when you're ready, let's bring our hands together in Namaskar Mudra. We're going to chant the Gayatri Mantra three times. Exhale. Inhale for Om. chant the Gayatri Mantra three times. We'll do one round of form response and then two rounds together. Hey Tracy, welcome aboard. Om. Two times together. Hey Rob. through the spine, draw the crown of the head to the sky. Hey Trish. A few more rounds of breath.
put some music on for it. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's an awesome fountain right behind me. Right to the right of me, sorry. So let's come into... Sorry guys, just trying to get my music right. Just want it nice and low, just so it's in the background. So let's bring the soles of the feet together. Take the thumbs underneath the toes and open the feet like a book. Inhale. Tall through the spine and then exhale, fold. Push the feet away so that you've got a nice diamond shape with the legs and allow the head to fall towards you with gravity. We're here for five minutes. Soft, you dry breath. The gentle ocean sound in the back of the throat. Holding any tension, just let it go. So you jive breath, gentle ocean sound in the back of the throat. Calming down the mind. Calming the body, the whole parasympathetic nervous system. Let it go. Four minutes to go. If any thoughts come to your mind, just acknowledge those thoughts, let them go. Hey Rhonda. Hey Tim. Hey Susan. How are you? So if you've just joined us, we're in butterfly pose. Just go through that again, bring the soles of the feet together, and then just slide the feet away. So you've got a triangle shape with the legs. Take the two thumbs, and bring them underneath the ball of the foot, and open the feet like a ball. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, and then exhale, fold forward. Just to your capacity. So I'm here in beautiful Ubud. Last two minutes to go. Thanks, Rhonda. Yeah, it's been awesome so far. Just arriving in Ubud today. And Deb, I've been to the Pyramids of Chi. Sorry, guys, I shouldn't be talking. So you dry breath, 
is a gentle ocean sound in the back of the throat. What you're doing there is you're constricting the epiglottis, which causes a vibration to go through the body, relaxing the parasympathetic nervous system. Last 60 seconds. Holding any tension at all, just let it go. Today I did a beautiful Tibetan sound healing at the pyramids of Chu, and I was in the lunar, the lunar pyramid, which is the left, the left side. Awesome experience. 20 seconds, almost there. Last 10 seconds. Can you hear me okay, guys? Inhala. Bring the hands behind, take your feet to mat with the partners, bring the screen right here. Just a counter pose for a few moments. And from here, let's come into straddle. So take the legs wide, just as wide as you can to your practice. Pull the fleshy bits out from the sit bones and then flex the feet so that you can engage through the hamstrings. I'm just resetting my foot. I'm going to inhale, circle the arms up. Square the shoulders to the right leg and then fold over the right leg. Draw the chin towards the shin. Allow the head to fall towards the earth. And we're here performing. Soft to joy. Hey Paige, how are you? Hmm. I hope you've got your yoga mat out. We're doing yin yoga in Ubud, if you've just joined us. I'm staying at this awesome family guest house. It has a central court, or the whole, it's in a compound of a central courtyard of beautiful temple and gardens are just amazing. I'm so glad I found this place. It's awesome. A few more breaths. 50 seconds and we're going to change the arms. So if you're at home, I hope you've got some nice music playing and or you can hear my music. Maybe some incense. Oh, thanks Paige. Yeah, I'm, I can't see if it's coming through or not, but the serenity is amazing here. It really is. Another 10 seconds, we're gonna change the arms. So take the two piece fingers of the right hand around the big toe, right foot. Elbow on the earth or on the knee. Inhale, raise the left hand. Bring the left hand over the head. Maybe take hold of the right or allow it just to open up through the left side body. 
So you don't want any pain here in a yin posture, but this discomfort is good. That's what we want. We're looking for discomfort. That's where the change comes. Definitely no pain. Last 90 seconds. Soft your jaw breath. seconds, almost there. Forty seconds, stay with it. Last thirty seconds. Five seconds. Inhale up to center. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's just make some adjustments here. So Find the sit bones one more time. Pull out the fleshy bits. We always need to do the other side, so inhale. Square the shoulders to the left leg and then fold over the left leg. Just take what avail whatever is available to you today. So you might be able to take hold of the knees, the shins or the toes. Square the shoulders to the earth and draw the chin towards the shin. We're here for four minutes. Hi Melinda, you've just joined us. We're in Ubud, Bali. The Dharma College Yoga on the road, our very first Facebook Live. Yin practice. So soft your jaw breath. So visualizing the breath like a wave, like a surfer on a wave. Slow, rhythmic pace. And there's no break, so the inhale folds into the exhale, back into the inhale again. Another 60 seconds, and we'll change the change the arms. If you're holding any tension, let it go. This is your time. Last 20 seconds. Flexing the feet, engaging through the hamstrings. Five seconds, almost there. Inhale, raise the right hand. Bring the left elbow onto the earth or onto the knee. Bring the right hand over the head. Take hold of the hand or just allow the head to drape. So you just want to open up through the right side body here. And we're here for another two minutes. Any 
thoughts come into your mind, just acknowledge them, let them go. You've just joined us, we're in beautiful Ubud in Bali. I'm staying in this amazing space. It's called the Three Brothers Guest House in Bali. Fifty seconds, we're almost there. Feel each breath. And on the exhale, we'll allow the body to just melt down into Mother Earth. 20 seconds. Last five seconds. Stay with me. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Just readjust the sit bones. Pull the fleshy bits out from underneath. Flex the feet. Engage through the hands. We're just going to fold forward now into our last Pose and straddle, inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. So just come into whatever. Come to your edge, resolve to stay still. If you have a block, you can pop a block to allow the forehead to rest. Or maybe make a pillow with the hands. Hey Nat, how you going? I'm in Ubud. I'm doing our first yin yoga practice. So I'll be doing this practice every Sunday night from somewhere in the world, wherever I am. At 6 p.m. Let go of any tension, just let it go. Soft your jaw down. And Jackson, if you want, you can give mum a little back massage while she's folding forward. I know she loves that. Stay with it. We're halfway there. mind wanders, just bring it back to the breath. The more the white mind wanders, the more practice you get in meditation. Hey Colin, how are you going? The last 60 seconds, stay with me. We're almost there. So if you're feeling a little discomfort at the moment, that's great. That's what we're looking for. We definitely don't want any pain. Last 50 seconds. Soft your jaw breath.
So Colin, we're in, uh, I'm in Ubud in Bali. And this is the first Dharmakoti Yoga on the road, yin class. So I'll be doing these free live streams every Sunday night, 6 p.m. And I'll also be doing some Himalayan meditations live streaming as well. Just keep an eye out on my Instagram and Facebook and I'll post the dates and the times of these practices coming from somewhere special while I'm on the road. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. So just take the hands underneath the knees the best way that you can bring the feet to mat width apart and just windscreen wiper here. And then come to a seated position. Pull the fleshy bits out from underneath. We're just going to simply fold forward. Flex the feet. Inhale up. And then exhale, fold forward. So you can take the hands onto the toes, maybe to the side of the feet, or just onto the knees and allow the head to fall towards the earth with gravity. Bring those hamstrings a nice stretch. Soft to jive breath here. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, fold. Maybe fold a little further into the pose. Two minutes to go. Almost there. halfway there, 90 seconds. So come to your edge, whatever that may be, everybody's different, everybody's unique. So just come to your edge and resolve to stay still. And once you've been in a pose for a couple of minutes, usually about two to two and a half minutes, you'll find that the body will automatically want to fold a little deeper. Last 60 seconds. Forty seconds. Almost there. Twenty seconds. Hey Terry. We're coming from uh, Ubud in Bali. Dharmakoli Jogas on the road. It's our very first Yin live stream. Yin Hala. Exhale hands to heart. So let's bend the left leg, 
and bring the right leg across the left. So coming into shoelace here. So from here, just sitting up and then sit back down. So the aim here is to have the knees stacking on top of each other. Hey Sharon, how are you? Nice to have you with us. So bring the, as much as you can, bring the knees stacking on top of each other. And the buttocks are on the earth, feet are either side. From here, I'll just set my clock. Bring the fingertips to the earth. Spider tip fingertips. Feel the connection to Mother Earth. And just fold a little bit further forward. Maybe a little further. Hey Baba, hey Shani. I'm in Ubud. It's amazing here. I found the most beautiful guest house. And the gardens are just awesome. And the compound is surrounding a beautiful family. Hey darling, love you. Beautiful family shrine, a temple. It really is magic. Maybe come a little further. And if it's in your practice, allow the head to fall towards the earth. Jai breath here. Softy Jai breath. Gentle ocean sound in the back of the throat. Centre. I'm just going to shift to off centre, but you stay where you are. Come this way. We're going to come into a twist now, so stay in your shoelace. Inhale up. Bring the right hand behind the buttocks, fingertips on Mother Earth. Raise the left hand and then bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Fingers in Dhanu Mudra. A pranic loop. Apply gentle pressure elbow onto the right knee. Lift up through the spine and take the gaze over the right shoulder. So it's not important how far you twist here, but the important part is long through the spine, lengthening through the spine, and drawing the crown of the head to, to the sky. And we're here for another 90 seconds. Softy jog there. Stay, stay strong here in this pose. Last 50 seconds. The 
something going on behind me in the garden. I don't know what it is, but it sounds like a bird or something. Twenty seconds, almost there. Stay with me. Last five seconds. Exhale, back through centre and just bring both hands to the left side just for a counter twist. And then inhale. Now bring the hands to the left side, come up onto the balls of the feet and then let's just walk around to the other side. Coming into shoelace on the other side. So adjust, make any adjustments that you need to make. What you're looking for here is the knees stacking on top of each other. The buttocks are on the earth and the feet are out to the side. I'll just reset my clock. Inhale. And exhale, fold forward. Spider tip fingertips on the earth. Come into your jive breath. Gentle ocean sound in the back of the throat. And then when you're ready, maybe fold a little further. Come to your edge and resolve to stay still. If it's in your practice, elbows to the earth. Allow the head to fall towards the earth. Soft your jive breath. And gentle ocean sound in the back of the throat. I'm just checking my time. up to centre. Just stay where you are. I'm just going to adjust. So let's come into that beautiful twist now on the other side. Raise the left hand. Bring the left hand down onto the earth, spider tip fingertips. Raise the right arm and bring the right elbow to the outside of that left knee. Fingers in front of your breath. Apply gentle pressure here. And then take the gaze over the left shoulder. Come to your edge, resolve to stay still. Soft adjust.
got another 60 seconds to go. There's a message here from someone. Let me see what it says. Can't wait to join in next time. I'm home and can enjoy your tranquility and get back into my yoga. It's from Sharon. Good for you, Sharon. Another 50 seconds, we're almost there. seconds. Stay with it. Five seconds. Almost there. Hey Dev, how are you? Let's come back through centre, take the hands to the right side, just a counter twist here. And then back through centre. Unravel the legs, give them a big stretch. Let's win the screen wiper here. So next pose we're going to come into is dragon. So you can bring your... You can come through this through down dog. I'll just give you a demonstration. We're going to do three levels of dragon. We're going to hold this pose for five minutes. So I'll just give you a demo. So I might to come from this side. So we're going to come into down dog. Ground down through the hands. Relax the shoulders. We're going to raise the right leg and bring the right foot to the outside of the right hand. So let's do that together. I'll come back to centre, come up into down dog, parvatasan. Inhale, raise the right leg. Then bring the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Bring the left knee to the earth. Soft your jaw breath. a bolster or a pillow in front of you, you can come down onto that bolster or you can just bring the elbows to the earth and soft your dive breath. to go. Stay with it. If it's in your practice, you can roll onto the outside of that right foot and allow the knee to just come out to the right side slightly. Try to make sure the hips are nice and square. Softy jump. Take the right hand to the right knee and gaze over the right shoulder. Dragon lifts its wings. Come back into your Ujjayi breath. And 
somewhere halfway there. Stay with it. The mind wanders, bring it back to the breath. Two minutes to go. Stay here, or if it's in your practice, raise the right hand. Bring your right hand over the head, take the gaze up under the right arm. Soft, your dry breath. Bring both hands, bring your right hand back onto the right knee. Come up onto the left toes and take the gaze over the right shoulder. So you're up on, like in a plank here. So you're on the left toes and the right foot. For the last 60 seconds, almost there. Stay with it. You can do it. Fifty seconds. Long through the spine, draw the heel and the crown of the head away from each other. Spine is nice and straight, nice and long. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Come on guys, you can do it. I know what you're thinking. 10 seconds. Last five seconds. Bring right elbow to the earth. Bring that right leg behind. Stay into a plank for 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Almost there. Stay with it. Draw all the abs in towards the centre. Engage all the underbunda just below the navel. Knees to the earth, hips to the heels, Adi Yoga Mudra, child's pose. Rest here for a few moments. Inhale up to centre. Tuck the toes, exhale into the mountain. Let's come on to the left side now. So inhale, raise the left leg. Bring the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Stay up onto the hands for a few moments. We're here for five minutes. Right, just try and pull this. Hey, Baba! I'm going to pull this over to the side here. Hey, Lauren. And when you're ready, just coming down onto the elbows. To our dragon pose. You got your yoga mat, Lauren? Soft your jai breath. We 
with you for five minutes. Three and a half minutes to go. Stay with it. Hey, Lisa. Good, Lauren. Are you in dragon pose? Left side. I found this magic place in Ubud. That's where we're practicing today. Inhale. Bring the left hand onto the left knee and allow the left knee to come out to the side and take the gaze over the left shoulder. Soft your dry breath. Hey, Dill. How are you? So long through the spine, draw the crown of the head to the, to the opposite wall or wherever you are. So I just arrived in, I just arrived in Ubud today. Spent a couple of hours at the Pyramids of Chi and And now we're doing this class in this beautiful setting. I'm in a family compound with a gorgeous central garden and and family temple. Hey Indy. Hey Indy cat. My cat can hear me, Dil said. <laughs> Inhale, raise the left hand over the head. Feel a nice big stretch through that left side body. We're just here for another 20 seconds and then we'll come into our come up onto our toes. And dry breath. Left hand back onto the left knee. Hey Paul, let's come up onto the right toes. So lengthen through that right leg, bring the knee off the earth. Hold here for 60 seconds. Softy jive breath. Be strong, long through the spine. The heel and the crown of the head draw away from each other. 30 seconds. Stay with it. 20 seconds. We're almost there. Last five seconds. Bring the left elbow to the earth. Bring that left leg behind. Let's stay in a plank for just 30 seconds. You can do it. Draw everything into the core. Audi underbunda. Hi Aurora. Hi Linda. 15 seconds in this plank. Peel and the crown of the head draw away from each other. Engage Audi underbunda just below the navel. Heels to the earth. Knees to the earth, hips to the heels. Adi Yoga Mudra, Child's Pose. Relax the whole body. A few more breaths. setting up my clock. Let's inhale up to centre. Come on to the knees. Hey Ruth Ann, how are you? Just into our last 30 minutes of practice. So from here, 
bring the feet out to the side like we did earlier with our shoelace, buttocks are on the earth. If you've got a blanket, uh, roll up a blanket or a bolster or a pillow, and then just roll, uh, have that behind you. We're going to inhale and exhale from here. Just allow the body to come down onto the earth. So bring your elbows down first. You might want to make a few adjustments here, so just stay here for a moment. Hey, how are you? And then when you're ready, just laying down over the bolster or blanket, whatever you have. Raise the hands above the head, head clasp the hands together. Come to your edge and resolve the space. So we're here for five minutes. If that's too much for you, just bring one leg out. Just bring the right leg out first. Lay back down over your bolster. Raise the hands above the head, clasp the hands together and then allow, allow them to just fall down onto the earth. You can come into like a yoni mudra here or just clasp the hands or yoni mudra. Soft your dry breath. Hey Angie, how are you? So we're just in saddle pose at the moment. If you've just joined us, you can bend both legs back. This is great hip flexor. Or if you're not so flexible, that's okay. Bring one leg out straight. Buttocks are on the earth, feet are at the side. You can roll up a blanket or a bolster, a pillow, anything you like, and then just fold back over that. So 10 seconds to go. We're halfway there. If you just, if you came in from the beginning of this pose, then uh, change the legs over. So if you had the right leg out before, bring the right leg back in and change to the left leg out. So it really doesn't matter, it's totally up to your flexibility, to your whatever your body can do. So left leg out for those of doing one leg, and then fold back down over the bolster. Allow the head to fall towards the earth. Raise both hands above the head, clasp the hands together, or come into Yoni Mudra. So Yoni Mudra, you clasp the hands together, and take the thumb and the index finger together. The Yoni Mudra is the mudra for the second chakra, Sahaswara chakra. So stay with it. Another 90 seconds to go. I'm going to stay up here so I can see the clock. So Anne and Ruth Ann, I'm in Ubud in Bali and bringing you this first live stream. One of many, I hope, as I'm travelling around, Dharmakoti Yoga on the road. Last 50 seconds. So you don't want any pain in this pose. You do want a little bit of discomfort. Discomfort is good, but you just don't want any pain. Last 40 seconds.
20 seconds or almost there. So our next pose, we're going to come to legs up the wall. 10 seconds. Stay with it. And then inhale up. Let's bring the both legs to the side. And bring them out in front. And give the legs a shake. So let's find a wall. Come to legs up the wall. And to do legs up the wall, I'm just going to go and lie over here. There's a nice door here. So to do legs up the wall, just need to come side onto the wall first. Get your butt close to the wall, as close as you can. And then from there, you simply lay down and take your legs up the wall. Flex the feet so that you're engaging through the hamstrings. So this is a, a, a passive pose, but you're sort of engaging through the legs as well. You can bring the hands down to beside the body, palms facing up. Always engage the hands so that you're spreading the fingertips, so that you're getting... Engaging all the systems, all the nadis, all the energy lines right through to the fingertips. Receptivity pose. Flex the feet. And we're here for five minutes. Soft your jaw breath. So you can stay here with legs up the wall for the whole five minutes. Or if it's in your practice, I'm just going to move so that I can demonstrate. If it's in your practice. Hey Nelly, how are you? So from here, you can take the legs up and then come up into a supported shoulder stand. And then from there, allow the legs to come over the head. Always keep your head straight when you're coming into Kapitasana. Never, ever, ever look to the side when you're in a full Kapitasana pose. Sorry, not Kapitasana, Halasana. Keep the head straight. Soft your jaw breath. Now, if you've if you've got big boobs, you can lay on a blanket. So have a blanket underneath your shoulders. This helps make you much more comfortable and easier to breathe in Kalasan. Uh, so in any inversion, play around with this. You can bring the knees to the side of the head. You can come up, bring the soles of the feet together. There really is no rules. Take the legs into straddle. Twist from side to side. Just hang out here, do whatever feels comfortable, whatever your body's asking for. As long as the feet are above the head and above the heart, and all that beautiful fresh prana is coming back into the heart and into the brain. That's what we're looking for doesn't matter what inversion you do, as long as those feet are above the heart and head. Just 
fly around with this. Just stay there for a few moments. I'm just going to come down. When you do come down from Halasan, support the back. Don't let go of that back. So support the black back and then just bring the knees into the chest and roll down one vertebra at a, at a time. To try and come down as gracefully as possible. When you come down, knees into the chest, do nice big circles on the sacrum. and then back the other way. Rolling over onto the right side body, and then come up into a seated position. I'm just gonna go back onto my mat. Hey, Cookie, how are you? Hey, Mon. So from here, we're going to come into a nice twist. So, laying down on the tummy, bring the right knee out to the side and then have the ankle in line with the knee. Bring the left arm under the right and come to lay on the left shoulder. I'll just get my mala beads, they're all funny. Raise the right hand, and from here, bring the right hand over the body, onto the earth, take the gaze to the right fingertips. If it's in your practice, you can bring the left hand onto the right knee and gently guide it towards the earth. Doesn't matter if your shoulder's not on the earth, just come to your edge. Or you might need a bolster or a blanket and pop it underneath that shoulder. If your arm's up in the air like that, just get some support under there. And we're here for three minutes. Soft your jive breath. Just setting my uh, clock. So if you've just joined us, I'm in Ubud, Bali, bringing our first Dharmakoti Yoga on the road, our first Yin practice live stream. So these live streams I will pop on my YouTube channel so that they can be watched anytime. And uh, also I'll put up some posts when I'll be doing some Himalayan meditations uh, live streaming as well so keep an eye on Dharma College Yoga you can also go to my website dharmacollegeyoga.com.au and uh, I'll be updating my blog from, from the website as well so yeah another two minutes to go so stay in that position If it's in your practice, you can bring the left hand onto the right knee and gently guide it towards the earth. Very important to take the gaze to the right fingertips. Just so you're getting that nice twist right through the centre. So twisting, we're stimulating all the organs. It's like you're wringing out the kidneys and the liver. We're also stimulating the digestive system on the right side and our elimination system or the apan system on the left side. So the ascending colon on the right and the descending colon on the left. Stay with it. Soft your jive
another 60 seconds here. We're almost there, 40 seconds. seconds. If something happening in the street, there might be a procession. Some drums. Last 10 seconds. So from here, raise the right hand, straighten the right leg and come on to the tummy. Bring the elbows underneath the armpits. Bring the left knee out to the side and the ankles in line with the knee. We're going to do the opposite side. Bring the right arm under the left, come over onto that right shoulder. Raise the left hand above the head. I'll just set my timer. Raise the left hand above the head. Inhale. Exhale, roll onto, the, onto your shoulders. And taking the gaze to the left fingertips. So you can stay here, or if it's in your practice, bring the right hand onto that left knee and gently guide it towards the earth. We're here for three Soft your jaw breath. Hey Cookie, how was the Camino Trail? It looked awesome. The photos are beautiful. More breaths. Stay with it. Another 60 seconds. So you want this pose to be intense, but it should feel absolutely amazing. Detoxifying the body. Stimulating all the organs. Your jaw breath here. Last ten seconds. Now raise the left hand, straighten the left leg and come down onto the tummy. Hey Joe, how are you? Just make a pillow with the hands and take the gaze to one side. Relax all the muscles in the back and take some deep breaths here. Filling up the chest. Mm -hmm. 
building up the tummy, the chest and the side ribs. And then exhale down. Couple more breaths. One more breath. And then inhale. And exhale. Take the gaze to the opposite side, laying down on your pillow. Big yogi breaths here. Allowing the body to totally relax. back to center. So just making your way now into Shavasana. So rolling over onto the back. If you have an eye pillow, take your eye pillow, place it over the eyes. Or you may have a shawl or a scarf. laying down on your back you can pop a bolster or a pillow underneath your underneath your knees just any props to make yourself as comfortable as you can be take the awareness to the breath Arms down beside the body, palms facing up. We can bring the left hand to the heart and the right hand to the solar plexus. Feel the tummy rise and fall with each round of breath. Make any adjustments to be the most comfortable that you can be. Come into a rotation of consciousness here. having technical issues. We're just coming into a rotation of consciousness. to take us on a journey around the body as I go through each body part you can visualize white light coming into that body part or you may want to repeat the body part to yourself as we go around if you get stuck on a body part that's okay just join us when you come back Take your awareness now to the right thumb, the second finger, the third, the fourth, and the fifth finger. Palm of the hand, back of the hand. The 
right lower arm and the elbow, the upper arm, the right armpit, the right side chest and the right side waist, the right hip, the upper leg, the knee, the lower leg, the right ankle and the right calf. Sorry, the right ankle and the right heel, the sole of the foot, the top of the foot, the right big toe, the second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and the fifth toe. Take your awareness now to the left thumb, the second finger, the third, the fourth, and the fifth finger palm of the hand, the back of the hand, the left wrist, the lower arm and the elbow, the upper arm, the left armpit, left side chest, left side waist, the left hip, the left thigh, upper leg and the knee, the lower leg, the left ankle and the heel, sole of the foot, the top of the foot, the left big toe, second toe, third toe, and the fourth toe. Take your awareness now to the hips, the lower back, the middle back, and the upper back. Take your awareness to the back of the neck, the back of the head, crown of the head, the third eye centre, Agya Chakra. Relax and soften the eyebrows. Take your awareness to the eyes, top lashes and the bottom lashes, the eyeball, the nose, the tip of the nose, the right and the left nostril cheekbones, take your awareness now to the jaw, the upper lip and the bottom lip, the top row of teeth and the bottom row of teeth, take your awareness to the tongue, the chin, the throat, the shuri chakra, take your awareness now to the heart, chest, and a heart of chakra. Take your awareness now to the diaphragm, and on the inhale, feel the diaphragm roll down out of the exhale. Exhale, receive that. Take your awareness now to all the abdominal organs. Now lower triangle, the bottom three chakras. Take your awareness to the perineum. And you all the chakra breathe in the perineum. Our base chakra. slowly introducing movement into the fingers and toes. And gently rolling the head from side to side. Raising the right hand above the head. 
rolling over onto the right side body. Staying here in the fetal position for a few moments. When you're ready, with helping hands, coming up to a seated position. Half lotus or easy. Centering Namaskar Mudra. Let's close our practice with one arm and three shantas. Inhale. Oh. Inhale for Shanti. 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 Clasp the hands behind the back. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Surrender yourself to Mother Earth. Inhale up to a seated position. Rub the hands together. Take the hands over the eyes. Feel the warmness. One breath. Draw the hands away from the face. Open the eyes to a soft gaze. Hands to heart center in Namaskar Mudra. Namaste. And if you're doing it with a friend, Namaste him. Namaste your other name. Thanks for watching everyone. Much love. Um, I'll just go for a little walk. I'll just show you through the garden here. It's pretty amazing. Let me have a look. So I'm in this awesome space. And then behind me is a temple. So let's go for a little walk. I don't know how to turn this around. But... So here is the, hey, how are you? <laughs> Where is she? Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and so there is a magic temple right here. I don't know, can you see that? Like this is... This is like the family temple. It's so cool. I love it. And the gardens are magic. So I think I'm um think I might stay here a little bit longer than planned. And uh, before I go to Lombok, so it's okay, darling, I can jump over it. <laughs> yeah, so, hey guys, put your comments up. I'd love to hear from you. And um, I miss you lots. I love you all. And thanks, Elle. Thank you. Thanks, Dil. And um, I'll, I'll see you next Sunday. I'll find another spot in this awesome garden. Namaste. Um, do, I'm doing them every Sunday night, uh, 6 p.m. New South Wales time. Wherever I am, I'll find a nice space and, and um, set up and do these yoga classes. That will be a yin yoga class every Sunday night. Also, um, I'm going to start doing probably a couple of Himalayan meditations during the week as well. Um, so, yeah, guys, just let me know. Just let me know what days suit you or what time of the day. I, I might put up a little um, questionnaire and let me know when it's good for you and 
I'm quite happy to get up and do an early morning meditation or, or a 6 p.m. meditation. So Marg, Marg's done, done the practice today with her, her little boy, her yoga buddy, and she said he was a bit no, uh, noisy. He was hoping you would do happy baby. Oh, Jackson, I'm so sorry. Let's do happy baby next week. We do happy baby for Jackson class. Thanks, Dil. See you guys. Bye. I'm going to do some yoga now at um, the yoga barn. See you guys. Love you. <laughs> Thanks, Tia. Yeah, I thought you might like that one. See you, darling. Bye.